Oh, that's a nice red. You can see that this fish is suffering from some barotrauma because his eyes are averted, popped out. He's not just surprised to see me. I think I had that happen to me once, but uh, I thought I'd eaten a bad sati. But I've already got my limit, so I'm going to throw this one back. If you throw this rockfish back into the ocean, it will just float away because the excess gas makes it too buoyant to swim back down on its own. Often these floating rockfish are eaten by birds or other marine predators. That guy looks like toast. I wonder if I can get his rock. Okay, gang, wind up in here. We've got to get going. We're catching too many of the wrong kind of fish here. The best thing to do is avoid catching rockfish that have to be thrown back. So if you are catching fish that you don't want or that aren't legal to catch, move on. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But what about old Popeye over there? Okay, guys, if you're catching too many of the wrong kinds of fish here, just tell the crew members and they'll use the deep water releases to let your fish go. Uh, what is a deep water release? A deep water release or recompression device is any device that helps a fish descend in water, preferably as close as possible to the depth it was captured. The research scientists in this video are lowering a rockfish with barotrauma back down to the depth that it was captured. As you can see, the excess gas inside the rockfish actually recompresses, allowing it to swim away. Their research has shown that even severely bloated fish can survive if released to deep water within five minutes. But the quicker the better. Rockfish recompression. All right, so I'm gonna release these using the milk crate method. Try to handle the fish as little as possible when unhooking and placing in a release device. A fish's slime helps protect them from infection. The more you handle the fish, the more of the slime that comes off. And there's some technique in keeping the fish in the milk crate so that they stay floating up in the upside down milk crate once it's in the water. A weighted cage such as a milk crate may also offer rockfish a bit of protection from sea lions or hungry lingcod on their way back down. And then we'll let them down to depth. So I've actually counted out 40 hand pulls at about two feet per pull. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the crate back up and the fish are back home. So, that seems okay if it's like shallow or not too windy, but that's not always the case. When I fish deeper water, I like to use a Shelton fish descender to release fish. Rockfish recompression. Some fishermen use this device to release several fish at a time. Now in order for this to work, you need to hold the weight up in the air to keep the fish on the hook. Down he goes. And using the Shelton fish descender, it allows me to release my fish that I'd like to release and then continue to fish once I'm down on the bottom with the two baited hooks. That's good. Uh, how about when everybody's puking their guts out because it's so rough? There are several fish gripper devices available, but the weather, the size of the fish, and the bottom type will affect how well they work. Hey, rockfish recompression! This is a black tip catch and release device. It's one of several lip gripping devices that are available on the market. It works by opening the jaws and closing them over the, the lower jaw of the fish. Then you simply put the fish over the side in the grippers and lower the fish down slowly. It's important that the weight hit the bottom solidly in order to get the jaws to open. It's also important to make sure that there is adequate tension to keep the jaws shut as the fish is descending. Hey. This is the rock lease fish releasing device. The rock lease is a good choice if your fish are from small to medium size. You open the jaws, close it over the lower jaw of the fish, lower the fish over the side, and when you get to the desired depth to release the fish, you give a quick tug on the line, the jaws open, and the fish swims away. Rockfish recompression. The sequelizer can be set to release at any one of three pre-programmed depths. The jaws clip together like so, and at the program depth, it releases. The sequelizer can be used on even larger fish. Whoa, nice video. Thanks. <laughs>